Welcome back. Today we're going to show you a quick overview of how to create geometry using Sigma Nest. I'm going to be using some basic tools within CAD to create my part. So let's go ahead and start off with a rectangle. Now I'm going to use the rectangle width and length tool. I'll give my rectangle a length of 25 and a width of 15 inches. Hit enter on your keyboard, then place your rectangle. Next I'm going to add a fillet trim. So let's go and select the fillet trim tool. And my fillet trim is already set at a radius of 0.5 inches. You can change this radius to whatever you want. Now I'm going to add a chamfered slot to our rectangle. So let's go and select our circle center tool. And let's do a radius of 3. And then hit enter on your keyboard. I need to define a x and y coordinate of 0, 0 to properly place my circle where I want it. So I'm going to go down here and click on the incremental coordinate origin button. This will allow me to define a new 0, 0 coordinate. I'm going to reset my coordinates to the center of this fillet. Now I can properly measure from this fillet to the center of my circle. After this step, make sure you have your use absolute or incremental coordinates tool turned on so that you can use your new coordinates. I'm going to place the center of my circle at 5x and 5y from the fillet I chose. After you're done choosing your new coordinates, hit enter on your keyboard to place the geometry. Let's go and select tangent perpendicular. With this tool, we can draw tangent lines with the geometry object perpendicular to another geometry object. Next, we are going to use the quick trim tool to clean up our geometry. Select the lines to be trimmed out. Now let's go and select the chamfer tool. I'm going to use one inch for both distances. Apply the chamfer. Next, let's add some interior contours. Select the circle center tool. And for the radius, half inch. Let's redefine our x and y coordinates again. I'm going to go from the center of the bottom entity and make sure you have your use absolute or incremental coordinates turned on. Now I'm going to go to my array tool and select the small circle we just placed and click OK. Now I'm going to add some values here. If you hit enter after each value, Sigma Nest will give you a preview of the array. Click OK when finished. So let's go ahead and add some ob rounds to our part. Redefine your x and y coordinates. Then place your part. Let's use delta copy on the op round. When finished, click OK. And last but not least, I think I'm going to add some corner circles to my part. SigmaNest offers a wide variety of tools and methods to create geometry in CAD. This is just one example. And that's all there is to it.